Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been about two weeks since I put my last video out. Things got crazy hectic over the past couple weeks. I had family in town. Um, I had a final I'm working on for my class. Uh, my son had a skateboarding or competition, so I've just had a lot going on. So I apologize for taking so long. But hey, we're back here, so let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? We're going to do a little bit of going over the script that we started last time, um, last last video we created. Um, I've been working on it over the past couple weeks. Um, I haven't gotten a whole lot farther, but I've actually kind of just improved things, uh, made things a little bit more user-friendly, and just kind of made it look a little nicer. So let's go ahead and open up a terminal here. Let's clear the screen and zoom in. Let's zoom way in here so you can see. And then we are going to actually CD into the directory, and I've actually moved it to its own directory and I've given the directory a name that is going to completely give away what my project is as if you didn't already know what it was but let's go ahead and CD into insta void <laughs> so if you can't guess what that is this is a void install script um, and I'm actually going to build this script to do literally everything for you from nothing from booting into the ISO to getting this script to be a git and then running the script all the way to hopefully a full working uh, window manager and fully usable system. So that is the goal with this pro with this project. So how this is going to turn out and how long this is going to take, I don't know. But let's just go ahead and take a look at what I've got so far. So let's vim into instavoid 2sh um, yeah, I have InstaVoid 2 because I have uh, InstaVoid 1, which I started on, but I made some changes. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to go with. Um, so, and I hadn't created my repo yet to have a couple different branches. So I just created two scripts. I've decided to go with InstaVoid 2. Um, I will be changing the name of it before too long, but uh, that's, that's kind of where we're at. So let's get rid of Nerdry there. So here we are. Um, if you remember the first time, the script was basically a prompt that ran the lsblk command and then asked you to choose which drive you wanted to use or which device you wanted to use. Then it asked you for a um, couple different partition sizes and then it partitioned it and that was about it. Um, so far my script does that and a few other things but I've actually kind of changed up the way it works. Um, so I've got a couple variables here. Um, I won't go into detail on these but basically these are just checking if something has been completed or not. Hence the check complete, greeting complete, and all that. And if you see, they are initially set to false. So things are going to happen during these functions when things run, where these are going to be switched to true. And I'll show you what's going on there when I actually run this script for you and kind of give you an idea of what's going on. So we have um, all those, and we have check dependencies. It's going to first check for um, any dependencies that you might need, um, i.e. Figlet, Git, and SF disk. Uh, Git and SF disk are necessities. Figlet, if you want the script to actually look decent when you run it, like I have it set up, then you need to have Figlet installed. Um, and so what this is going to do is check for any of those, and if any of them are missing, it's going to go ahead and install them. So that's the check depths function right there. Then we have the greeting function. This is just basically the greeting page. It's going to tell you the name of the script, which is InstaVoid. Um, it is going to tell you the version, which is version 1, and it is going to um, give you a bit of a description. This is just kind of a placeholder description. I'm going to make it a little more professional. Uh, but basically what that does is um, just kind of gives you an idea of what's going on, and then it's going to give you a prompt that says read RP and then press enter to continue. So basically it's just going to wait for you to press enter to continue. If you're curious about what these... Um, backslash e and then the square bracket 20 32 m 36 m 36 m all that is basically that is just so this will run in different colors so when it prints out so you'll see that when i actually run the script as well so then we have this steps function right here the steps is basically just checking to see if steps are completed or not which is why we have those c create list complete equals true um, so that's why we have those and again i'll go over that when i run the script um, we have create device list. Uh, before, like I said, I just ran the lsblk command and let you choose from that. I've kind of uh, tweaked things a little bit now. Basically, it's going to give you a menu. It's going to run the lsblk command right here, and it's going to store it as a variable. Um, and then it's going to take that variable, and it is going to use the map file command, which is basically read array. Read array, I believe, is a alias for map file. But basically, what it's going to do is it's going to take that, and it is going to take the output from that lsblk um, variable it's going to take that variable right here and it's going to pipe it into awk and it's going to get rid of all the cruft on it and it's just going to give you the device name like sda nvme whatever um, and it is going to turn that into an array and then it's going to use that array and it is going to create a menu for you so you can just select from a menu of devices um, so basically that's all this function is right there and so right here we have the create list complete equals true so we've switched that initial create list complete false to true 
and then we clear the screen. And we have the partition function, which is basically the same as it was before. Um, it is gonna go ahead and take your partition sizes, so it's gonna give you the read-rp, and it's gonna give you a prompt to enter partition sizes in this order, EFI root home, and it wants them separated by spaces with no commas. And then it's gonna take that, this IFS, internal field separator, is gonna take those uh, that string that you type out in this and it is going to sw split it up into three different variables EFI part root part and home part and so then it's going to take that and it is going to run it into the SF disk command and it is going to actually uh, partition that disk for you um, then we have FS install or FS install right here which is going to install the file system so basically it's going to take your device it is going to if it's an sda device then it is going to actually run the mkfs fat dash f32 and it's going to run the ext4 and mkfs ext4 it's going to create the file systems and it is going to take care of all that for you as well and then down here we have mount it is going to go ahead and mount those file systems um, once it is done creating file systems on the different partitions, it's going to go ahead and mount them all. So well, then we have down here, we have check dependencies. So it's going to run the functions in this order. It's just going to check for dependencies. It's going to show you the greeting. It's going to create the device list. It's going to um, do the partition function and it is going to install the, um, it's going to install the file systems on the uh, partitions and then right down here I have it commented out but it is going to mount because I'm having issues with the mounting function right now when I'm trying to work on it um, outside of a clean build so um, I just have that commented out but it does work that is basically the script so far so we've got a lot more done than I originally had and it is a little bit more um, I guess professional looking if I do say so myself. So let's go ahead and run it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and we don't need to write because we didn't change anything, but we're gonna write and quit. We're gonna clear the screen. And basically what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna do an LSBLK and you can see I've just got my NVMe drive on here right now. So I am going to go ahead and plug in my other drive here. There we go. And we are going to run that command again and you can see now I have SDA um, SDA1, SDA2, and SDA3. So let's go ahead and clear the screen. And we are going to do a SG disk dash dash and zap dash all. And we're going to do dev SDA and hit enter. Uh, you must run this. Oh, yeah, sudo. And then Okay, so we are going to now do LSBLK, and you can see we have gotten rid of everything, so now we have no more partitions on there, right? So let's go ahead and run this void, insta void script, and I'll show you what it looks like so far. So we're going to do dot slash insta void 2 dot sh, and we're going to hit enter. And there we go. Our first thing is we just have our greeting right here that's insta void, gives us the version number and the description, and it says press enter to continue. So let's go ahead and press enter. Now we have the outline and it shows, okay, I've got my numbers is a little screwed up here, so don't pay any attention to that. But it says check for dependencies. Yep, we've done that. A greeting. Yep, we've done that. Now we are on choosing the device. So down here we have a partition and it says select a device. So this is that LSBLK command piped into map file, creating an array. That's what that's doing right there. Is it's taking my LSBLK command and giving me a menu of the devices I can use. So we're gonna go ahead and select one, which is SDA. It's gonna say, you chose SDA, is this correct? We're gonna say yes and hit enter. And you can see up here now that choose device has changed to complete and it tells us which device we are using. So we are using SDA. So at this point, we want to partition the drive. So let's go ahead and enter the sizes in this order, EFI, root, and home, separated by spaces with no commas. So let's do one, G, let's do 3G and let's do 10G just to show. We're going to hit enter. It's going to go through and you can see now that we have one, two, and three partitions uh, created out in our SDA. So let's go ahead and clear the screen. Now I should be doing this as sudo. So we'll, we're going to start this over. So let's do sudo sg disk zap all dev SDA. And we're going to clear that and let's do sudo. I'm writing the script to be able to actually run it as root on your, when you pull up the ISO and, or when you boot from the ISO. So I need to be able to, I need to run this as a root here too. So let's do sudo and let's do insta void.sh and hit enter. Here we go again. So we have enter. Yes. Okay. Uh, which device would you, whoa, that's not the way I wanted it to work. So 
I want because I'm running the wrong script. Sorry, I'm letting this video get way out of hand. So let's do instavoid2.sh. There we go. Now, select a drive. We want one SDA. Yes, that's correct. We want to create our partition. So let's do 1G, 3G, and 10G and hit enter. So it goes through and it does everything. And so you can see we've created uh, SDA1, SDA2, and SDA3, um, 1G, 3G, and 10G. So the partition table has been altered, calling uh, to reread the partition table on syncing disks. So then we have uh, MKFS4, MKFS, SDA2 contains an EXT4 file system labeled root, created on, do you want to proceed anyway? Let's just say yes. And there we go. Now you can see that we have our SDA drive. We have a VFAT for boot, we have an EXT4 label for root, and we have an EXT4 for home. And we have now successfully chosen our disk, chosen our um, partitions, <clears throat> and we have mounted our file system on those partitions. And from here on out, I could actually mount them on my drive as well. But like I said, I'm having some issues with that. But that's kind of what we got going on with the script right now. Um, it is on my GitHub and my GitLab repositories. It is private at the moment because I'm working on a few things before I kick it public. Um, but it will be there before too terribly long, I think. So that's kind of what I've been doing and what I've got going on. Um, so again, let's clear the screen. Uh, let's run that one more time and I won't do any talking. So let's do sudo s. Uh, SG zap all so we want to get rid of that so let's clear the screen and let's run sudo instavoid2.sh again we're gonna hit enter SDA yes 1g 3g 10g I know I said I wasn't gonna talk but I lied <clears throat> and there we go yes we want to create that anyway yes we want to create that anyway and there we go just like that just that fast we now have a partition to drive with the partitions we want, with the file system we want on them, labeled as we want them. So I hope you guys like this. I hope you can get some use out of this when I get done with it. I hope I'm not wasting my time. Well, I'm not wasting my time because I'm I'm enjoying doing this. But I hope uh, I hope some people get some use out of this. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, a great rest of your night, a great rest of your evening. Stay safe and hey, tell you what, everybody, God bless.